First of all, let me just kick off with the U.S. Are you interested in expanding in the U.S.? If yes, by how much? And would it be uh, through a merger and acquisition? Look, the first thing, we are expanding big time in the U.S. 19 quarters in a row now, more than 1 million per quarter growth with customers. Uh, we have expanded our footprint from 230 million pops to uh, almost 330 million pops, which is on uh, par level with, the, uh, with our competitors, with the new spectrum we're deploying. We are growing much higher than anybody else in this industry. So this is the growth which we are planning. There's no unorganic moves which we have on our agenda that right now. We have a strong organic growth. Uh, always in the U.S., so you introduced a service called T-Mobile TV. Can I get Tom Keen on there? There's a lot of your rivals that are going into that space. Why do you want to be in it? Look, simple as that, we make our product even more excited. You know, you have connectivity from all over the places <coughs> to content and to um, uh, uh, the things which, which is entertaining for you. We have bought a, a TV uh, and a, a video platform, uh, which is helping our customer easily <coughs> access to all this um, different contents. We are kind of aggregator for bringing these things easy to our customers. And within our tariffs, it's, uh, it's, it's mainly for free, like our Netflix offer, which we have in the U.S., which is included into our and carrier offers, so, um, which is highly attractive to our customers and even, you know, uh, well received. So it is a kind of added value to the classical um, uh, mobile connectivity which we are offering already today. Tim, I want to bring up the chart of the path of Deutsche Telekom, and it's not a pretty chart. Obviously, the boom in the 1990s, a lot of other charts looked like that, but on a long-term basis, it's been a struggle. Clearly, you are consolidating in Europe I get the idea, maybe you jettison a BT idea, maybe you jettison a US T-Mobile idea, but what are you con consolidating to in Europe? I mean, if Deutsche Telekom brings it home, what are you bringing it home to? Look, the first thing is, um, you, you're totally right. When we started in um, the story with, um, um, in 2013, when I came into the office, you know, we said, you know, what we have to do is we have to consequently invest into infrastructure because um, the network is our uh, biggest skill. That is where German engineers, you know, are coming from. That is what we really, let's say, control and understand. And we were heavily investing much more than anybody else um, uh, in this environment. So we want to convince customers that we have the better infrastructure, the better network, the better uh, access to data. And that is what we are driving. And uh, honestly, the customers appreciate it. We are growing in all our markets. We are, and that is the only telco is doing that. Um, we're growing in the European entities, uh, in Germany and the like. So what we want to bring home is first, we have the best network. Right. And we are winning every drive test in our uh, areas. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is, you know, we want to become relevant for our customers, both on the B2B side and on the, uh, on the customer side. So um, we are driving Internet of Things, for instance, in our B2B area. And, you know, long term, what we need is, you know, a much stable environment for the fixed right. line infrastructure that we could offer convergence offer for all of our customers. I mean, I got to be honest, I, 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 w I was completely wrong in the guy with the magenta shirt at T-Mobile. And that's been a huge success for T-Mobile and Deutsche Telekom. What is the support of your board? I want to know the dynamic yeah. with you is bordering on an Anglo-Saxon manager, an Anglo-American manager. What's the dynamic with your board versus is what Mr. Kryan has to put up with at Deutsche Bank. Is your board behind you to make tough decisions as you consolidate? Look, the first thing, we have 220,000 people who have magenta blood. And, you know, I have a magenta here. I'm not looking like John, uh, but, you know, uh, we are brothers in mind how we drive the company. And our board is totally supporting what we are doing. Uh, I just renewed my contract for another five years. Um, I get a lot of appreciation from the environment we are working. And we are doing the things which are right for our customers, which are right for the business. Being at consolidation, being at cost management, being at the way of investing a little bit more than the rest of uh, uh, our competition. That is, let's say, the support we are getting. And by the way, what we're doing in the U.S. is the same thing, what we're trying to drive here in Europe as well. Um, it's unique what has happened in the U.S. Unbelievable turnaround. Never happened in telecom history. But this is something for us as a role model, how we should drive even our European markets. We are the biggest telecom operator even in Europe.
Yeah, so talk to me a little bit about, you know, U.S. versus Europe. If the U.S. is seeing a little bit of a slowdown or is predicted to slow down a bit, are you doubling down on Europe? Look, you have seen the guidance of our team, and uh, we're expecting up to another 3 million new customers coming into um, uh, the U.S. operation uh, throughout this year. You have seen, let's say, uh, last year, the big uh, increase, which we have seen both on revenue and on the, uh, on the, on the EBITDA, more than 10 percent growth. By the way, all the other carriers in the U.S. are shrinking. You know, we are the only one growing, and we have just started. From 230 million pops to 300, we are now opening up shops in all areas where we haven't been before, and this is a big pot, uh, potential for growth. I'm very excited about how our U.S. team has positioned themselves as great network, <clears throat> superior customer service, added value service like content, and on top of right. that, uh, employees who are so uh, raving fans of the brand. This is the formula for success, and I'm very concerned that this team is going to be successful even throughout 2018. Yeah, you're certainly uh, very much a cheerleader for your company. But does 5G technology open, for example, new cross-border benefits between DT, Deutsche Telekom and T-Mobile? Look, the first thing is we are engineers by profession. And uh, I can tell you there's nothing happening in that world around 5G which we do not know. And we are, have a lot of trials and tests, being it, let's say, uh, about industry uh, autonomous driving, being it about uh, industry automation, being it about fixed wireless access technologies. I don't want to go into the specifics, but we specifically understand from edge computing to slice infrastructures what is needed. And we're testing this in the U.S. market as well as we're testing it in our European markets. That's the advantage of having a 75 billion company. We have a lot of power on technology, and therefore we are testing it, and we will... We we will find our own way of offering it in the U.S. Well, I do not release that with you. This is something which the U.S. team will do at the right point in time.